So what is the real truth of heaven? I can only speak from my experience. From my experience, I've come to know it as that invisible reality that's right here and now present. Certainly, I believe that there's uh, a different reality, uh, a different way of seeing reality when we leave this earthly plane. I know when I was like 19 years old, I had a mystical experience where it was revealed to me in that moment. There were two powerful statements. It's okay to die. And love is the key. So those words came through very strongly, but more than the words was the knowing. In that moment, I mean, what a, what a gift to know in that moment that if I died, it was gonna be all right. And there was a surrender in that moment, like, you know what, if I have to go right now, because I was driving at the time, if, if I, that all would be well. If I left right now, that somehow I knew in that moment that my experience kept going, who I am, the individualization of, of God that I am would keep on going. I didn't really know at that young age, I didn't think of it as, as like I was an individualization of the divine itself, but I've come to have that experience. And so another influence in my life was my mother's own story of, of her near-death experience. So that, that kind of put in me this really, this seeking to know what's like, what, what's that about, you know? And so I've, I've done a lot of research, read a lot of books, seen a lot of, of videos about people's experience. And you know what? There's some commonalities in those experiences. There's this feeling of love like they've never felt before. There is peace. There is a sense of oneness, of, of being connected to everything. There is true seeing, the ability to see the life experience, not just this life, but all the lifetimes. There's this ability to see it all that's revealed to people who've, who's had these experiences. There's wholeness for people who, who were maybe dealing with a physical experience. It's like, whoa, check it out. I feel good. I'm whole. There is, you know, there's, there's only wholeness. You also hear this theme of beauty. Oh my God, it was so beautiful. There was beauty. There was light. And there was a knowing of the eternality of life. And so what that points to, to me is like, you take these qualities, it's like, can we, do we experience these qualities in our life right now? That to me is what bringing heaven down here is all about. Love. Whenever I'm not in a heavenly experience, I know it's because I have somehow, some way, judged, condemned, been fearful, disconnected myself from that reality by my thinking. And so for me, I just want to talk about one of the things I've come to know about really accessing this heavenly experience and bringing it is really surrender. For me, that has been such a powerful piece of this, such a powerful reality is like to allow it to surrender, to become small in some way, to allow myself to be held by that eternal reality of heaven that is seeking to express itself more fully in this world, through me, through you, as us, it's totally doable. It's a reality that we can absolutely allow to come into manifestation. So it's been so wonderful to meditate on these things and to really come to um, a place within myself of of once again feeling that experience of heaven more fully because I've just paused 
surrendered, allowed, and moved into that space, that reality that's present here. <laughs>